Hi, this is Lynn with Blue Night Rubber Stamps, and today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful card with our Palm Beach new release stamp. Um, so I've given myself a personal challenge of trying to make different looking cards with the same stamp. So here we have a dramatic sunrise, and then a dramatic night sky. and just the puffy clouds and then uh, another morning kind of yellow sky and then multicolored clouds and then of course back to this is a frame piece with the dramatic sunrise so this is the one we're going to try to recreate today and so to get started we're going to put our card all the way in the corner because we are going to do some double stamping and whenever you're double stamping you kind of really do need the heavy duty bar magnets and um, so we're just going to stamp it up. I need enough of the detail to show that I know where to color but I don't want too much because I want it to dry quickly. And then I'm going to double stamp all of the detail back on it. There we go. That's pretty good. So this is the main thing I was concerned with. You can see there's a little bit of, you can see where the wake is. And then you can see where the sand will be a little wetter and darker. And then the sky. So that was actually my main concern. So this will work. So I'm going to do the sky first, and just to give the ink a little bit more time to dry, I'm going to start at the top. And that is actually very much a personal preference on whether you like to start at the top or the bottom. So I'm doing, using of course the Sunrise Sunset palette. And it comes with these six colors and a white. And then I have some additional colors that I put into my palette. And you can see pan pastels go on very smoothly. And the red is especially vibrant. So now we're going to get a little orange. And then I want some nice yellow and then I'm going to start at the horizon and see how I can go right over top of the ink a little bit because we're going to do that double stamping and that just makes makes it kind of easy you don't have to try not to go over it and I think I really think it's the bright yellow that gives it that real dramatic look and once you, you get the full coverage, I can go back in with the orange if I want. Give a little bit more orange. But what I really, what I feel like makes the sunrises look really kind of cool is the red iron oxide that you can just streak through. And skies are just they are so different that it, it doesn't have to be the same every time. And see how it just kind of, the way it blends, it gives a different sky every time. going over it until you get the color that you want. That's kind of the, the very neat things about the pan pastels, especially for skies. You can just keep working with it. Since it's a dry medium, it doesn't wear the paper out. So that's actually a very cool thing about it. All right, so now I want to do the water. And I'm going to switch to the day-night palette. And so that comes with um, these seven colors. 
and I usually start from light to dark and my sponge has actually been used so much you can clean it off with a paper towel in between but because I'm going to be adding other colors anyway I don't really bother I just want to make sure that I leave the land you can see right where that land is and then of course see there's little light line I want that wake to be white so that it looks like we have a little bit of waves on our shore and so I will apologize if my head gets in the way I have to get a little close to my paper to see <laughs> That's the part I really want to be careful to leave white. And like I said, there's little hints and you can see that it's just a little bit of white. There you go. And then we can go a faster once we kind of have that all filled in. Now my paper is oversized. So now I'm just going to add the different blues randomly. So my paper is a little bit oversized. Um, so... Um, really so that there's always room for some magnets and um, then I can trim it down whether I use a frame or whether I just want to do a little bit of matting. Now this is phthalo or phthalo bit blue. It's P-H-T-H-A-L-O and it's such a nice rich blue. I really love it but it's kind of, especially with any water, it's kind of neat to just fill in the different blues and then blend them. And really, it, the water's a little bit like the sky. It's just fun to play with it and see what you come up with. And get a slightly different one every time you color. Okay, so uh, now I need to do the sand. And the um, burnt sand tint is not part of the palette, but I do sell it separately. And it's a nice tan. And for the sand, you can use gold, bronze, um, and you can even add a little bit of the red iron oxide tin if you like a little pinky sand. For this, I'm just going to use the um, burnt sand tint and the bronze, and it makes a pretty quick, a pretty quick little sand. And so, this is I'm going to use the bronze where it looks like the water has washed up on the waves. So, like I said, it's really not, it, it's a quick little color. The hardest part is trying to get this little tiny piece of shore. That's it. So, now I'm going to just flip my little sponge over and get a little of the um, bronze to get in there. So, it looks like the sand is wet. See how you can see that's darker and shiny. Then you can turn it back over and just do a little blending. So the last thing is to, you know, double check and make sure that, um, looks like I got a little blue into my sand here, so I don't want blue in my sand. I can erase it out. Isn't that neat? So the pan pastels are erasable, so that makes it a really easy medium to color with. And that's pretty much done. So that was really quick. And um, we just have to do our double stamping. So again, like I said, if you made sure that your card was in the corner, you just put it right back in that corner. Put the extra strong magnet on it. And this will be pretty much the end. This set actually comes with the words, His Mercies are new every morning. And... Um, I left it off of this one 
uh, mainly because when I first started trying to make the video, I needed to make a birthday card. Um, so the words are separate. You can put whatever words you want with it. So if I want to put the mercy, his mercies are new every morning on it, I can do it after I've done the sky. That way I don't have to worry about the ink um, with the pan pastels. Um, because you do have to make sure your ink is dry so that you don't get smears. And the archival does dry pretty quickly, but you can see already how that's coming together for a card. I do love the double stamping. It kind of is a little magical look. Of course, the biggest thing is we want that to fill in very nicely. So I'm not going to stamp anything else right now. And sometimes you have to slide just to get if there's any dust off. So sometimes that will cause the black to not come up real vivid. Now, if it's not as black as I want it to be, I will then just fill it in with my little sponge dauber. And that'll help get in any little dots that just didn't fill in. And then you re-stamp it and that's what makes everything come together nicely. I think that's good. So there you have it. Very quick, easy, dramatic sky. And pan pastel, pa bleh, sorry, <laughs> pan pastels make it so quick and easy. And I have just enjoyed working with all of the new release stamps, but especially this one to find out how different each card can look just by changing the sky. So give it a try and, you know, post on Fans of Blue Night Rubber Stamps Facebook page. I'd love to see your work. Thank you for watching. Happy stamping.